Hi ladies and gentlemen and please be your frugal housewife and I'm coming at you tonight with a wig tip. Um, as you know I've been wearing Create from the Janet collection and I really I really like her. She's really grown on me. You know, especially since I cut the layers in her and made the little bang. She really has grown on me. And I like her. The only problem I have with her is she sheds a lot. I mean, she really, really sheds. Every time I touch her, she's losing hair. And I just, I don't like a wig that sheds like that. So, I was trying to think, like, what can I do with her? Because I like the Janet collection. The hair is soft. Um, the, it's natural looking. It looks really nice. The parting space is good on them. And I'm, all I'm thinking is, like, did I get a bad wig or what, you know? Because Renaissance held up so lovely. I mean, I had her on for five weeks, ladies. I did everything in that wig. And I'm like, this, you know, with the shedding, and I had minimal shedding out of Renaissance, you know. So all I could think is, like, what can I do to try to save this wig? Because I like her, and I like the Janet collection. I don't want to, um, I don't want to down the Janet collection because of this one wig. So... Um, Witty Girl Spell Backwards did a tutorial on how to fake bleach your knots. So I said, okay, I'm going to see if maybe I can um, do use a sealer to help stop the wig from shedding so bad. So I didn't want to use Create because I don't want to mess her up. I really like her. And I wanted to test the waters before I you did it on one of the, you know, this wig. Because I like this wig. You know, I can wear her occasionally, even with the shedding. But it's just not something I can't wear like I did Renaissance, you know. So, um, what I wanted to do was try it out and see how it worked on another wig I had. Um, I had got this model model wig from my local beauty supply and I thought I was recording earlier and I wasn't recording so I did everything and I realized I wasn't recording so I'm going to show her to you this is her after I slaughtered her I cut, <laughs> I cut her up because she was shedding so much as you can see she's still shedding somewhat but it's not like she was um, but anyway so I cut her up and I did all kind of other things to her but she's actually still wearable. Quite, I know it may not seem like it, but she really is. She's actually still wearable. And so, um, but I was just only wearing her on just occasion, you know, when I just felt like a little simple something to throw on. Anyway, so what I did was I took her out and I said, I'm going to see if the sealer stops her from shedding and if it does if it can stop this wig from shedding it can stop any wig from shedding so I turned her inside out do this first do it just like how I did it when I did the experiment you comb all the hair backwards because you want to try to use the inside of the wig to uh, as you can see it's minimal shedding on her now as I'm combing through her and you can see I'm not being none too gentle. I'm just raking through it. Because as I said, I don't really wear this wig. And I got all those wigs from HairToBeauty.com. So I, probably, I doubt I'll ever wear this wig again. But she's still kind of cute. And she's future of fiber. So I can recurl her and restyle her. And do some things with her. I, she was a long wig when I started out. but And as you can see, the shedding has stopped considerably. That's just all the shedding I got from combing through her like that. Don't open that. Do not open that. And Do not open it. anyway, so we turn her inside out and put her on the wig head. And you try to get all the hair, especially in the front, because you want to, she doesn't hardly have any lace on her either, ladies, because I, ladies and gentlemen, because I have done some, I've done all kind of experiments with this wig. And so you want to try to get all the lace 
and everything out turned over any area that you're going to spray you want it out Just a little bit. Okay. And then you take this and tuck it under. Take this and tuck it under. Okay. So you tuck as much of the hair under as you possibly can. So you won't have any hair out showing and then you take a plastic bag and I already tied the knot in the bag but you just to take it and tie it around and if you have a tripod or one of those things that holds the wig um, the wig head that'll be even better I don't have one of those so I'm going to show you what I did so you take the wig like that and you set and you set this on or you actually this needs to be a little tighter unless you have someone helping you. I have my boyfriend help me. But you can tie this just a little tighter because you don't want it to slip off while you're spraying because you don't want any of the spray on the hair that's going to be hanging. So what I did was I tucked it under just a little bit right there to hold the bag tightly. Okay, so then you can either cut a hole in the bottom of the bag or you can just do her like I did and hold the bag around the bottom and tuck that knot right there to help hold the bag and then you hold it like this and this is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover two times coverage and also bonds to plastic matte clear and it is like an acrylic sealer okay um witty girl spell backwards use Nemox I don't remember the first part Patricia Nemox I think or Rachel Nemox something like that um, acrylic sealer and this is similar to this you can get this for like three eighty nine at Home Depot and this part here you have I think it's a dollar or two dollars at Home Depot my boyfriend brought me this part to um so this is you so you don't get it all over your hands and you it helps direct your spray and when you do this I would advise doing it outside and so you just spray it on evenly you like right here where I have this um, where I have the um, the couple of hairs that came up you tuck your hairs down so that way you know it's not going to get all down in the hair and you just take it and you spray it on there I'm not actually spraying because it's best to do this in a well ventilated area and you just spray don't hold it too close because as you can see that's what I did I held it a little too close and it's got like a white um, tint to it but you can't see that once you um, once you've done it, you know, once you've worn the, once you have it uh, off the head and everything, you can't see the um, the white tint onto the wig. But it's, that's just from me holding it too close. And you you spray that on there, and then you I let it dry. We walked the kids to Dairy Queen, and so I left it outside and let it dry till I came back from Dairy Queen. If you you don't have to leave yours outside, you can bring it in and put it in a window or anything you know maybe up in your bathroom I don't know I just did it outside because I wanted it to be ventilated and so once you're done you take it off your wig head and you turn it over and you let it dry let it dry thoroughly you turn it over and when you comb through it you don't get all the shedding as I said anything that will stop this wig from shedding will stop any wig from shedding this wig when you touched it it lost hair I wish you could have seen it before uh, I did this because the wig, the shedding was terrible and this is like what you saw before and this little bit that's all the shedding I'm getting off of this and I mean this wig used to shed clumps of hair when you comb through it clumps of hair came out and so I'm going to do create uh, probably sometime this weekend and I will get back with you with a review on how well 
the um, acrylic spray worked on create and what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to spray all the insides of my wigs like that because I love the wigs from the Janet collection and I don't want to stop using them be because of a little shedding so I'm going to check it out and I'll let you know how it worked out on other wigs it did do well on this one and I will let you know if it works for create and the other wigs that I have I'm going to also do the two I have from Ultray and see how it works on those also. So I hope this tip has been helpful to anyone that, you know, needs to use it. And I hope you have a blessed evening and I thank you for watching. And please, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a beautiful and blessed evening. Thank